Heritage Cannabis Holdings Corp. operates a holding company which cultivates, sells, and distributes medical cannabis in Canada. The company currently has two Health Canada approved licensed producers through its subsidiaries FineMed Inc. and Canacure Corp., both of which are regulated under the Cannabis Act regulations. Heritage Cannabis is focused on advancing its scale and technology footprint to compete both domestically and internationally. Heritage Cannabis Holdings Corp. trades on the CSE under the ticker symbol C-A-N-N. -N. Clint Sharples joins me now. He's the President and CEO of Heritage Cannabis Holdings Corp. on the CSE trading under symbol C-A-N-N. -N. Clint, welcome back. I didn't know today was uh, wearing your best uh, jacket day. I should have uh, should have done something better than that. So I'm well, feeling that's okay, bad. Okay, Clint. You know this is uh, a hard number, hard act to follow in the jacket department. Looking good. Thank you, um, Clint. You guys are in the midst of a transaction that will see you acquire a portion of ownership of this company, Endocana Health. Tell me about the transaction and tell me about Endocana Health, please. Yeah, we're uh, as I mentioned before when I heard talking about this about a month and a half ago when we. Did our trend or get our agreement with them. We'll be closing this deal at the end of next week. We're purchasing 30% of Endocana. Uh, being a DNA test kit, very similar to 23andMe or, or a uh, Ancestry DNA, uh, you do the swab in your mouth, you put it into the jar, shake it up, and send it in. What it allows you to do is takes a, it takes your information, your, your genetics, and matches you with the cannabinoids and the strains sometimes that can best match you and your genetic profile. Hmm. What that allows you to do is find out which cannabinoid is most effective for you and your makeup. Let's so see. if you're going to find some sleep beds, find the ones that, that match best with whatever your, uh, your situation is, and those should work best for you and should provide a safer environment for you to use cannabis. Hmm. So can this be used recreationally to find the cannabis that doesn't make you catatonic and, and paranoid <laughs> and instead makes you happy, high, and giddy? I'm, I'm sure you could use it for that, although it is mostly geared towards the, uh, the medical aspect, okay. as uh, they have doctors on staff that sure. can additionally help with the information provided Provided, that'll really allow you to get a personalized cannabis uh, medical profile. Hmm. Interesting. So, how much does the test cost for an individual? Uh, right now, their test is two hundred dollars U.S., uh, which does the full gamut. You, they send you this kit that you see here today, and then they'll send you your report. However, if you do happen to have uh, 23andMe or Ancestry DNA, you can take those results and upload it into their website, their algor algorithm that they have, and it'll give you the exact same information. Uh, can't remember what that cost is, but it's uh, lower than uh, going with the, the kit. Okay, interesting. So then is the benefit to uh, Heritage the idea that these guys might recommend some cannabis or products that you guys produce? Absolutely, oh. yeah. Endocana is what we would consider to be the first step in the medical process of taking true control over how cannabis interacts with your, um, with your, your medical uh, profile. Mm -hmm. So Endocana can be uh, a great introduction and a great uh, uh, information source for heritage that'll lead us to knowing which particular formulations are the most popular and the most effective for medical patients. Hmm. Well, that's kind of exciting. There's nothing out there that really does that at this point, is there? There are a couple of DNA kits that are out there, people who are doing this. I have not seen anything that utilizes what Endocana does with the 900,000 markers in the human body. There are ones that do significantly less than that that can do it quicker. Endocana takes a few weeks to get their information back to you, mm -hmm. but the information you get is enormous. Uh, it, it's something that you can take to your doctor and say, here is some quantifiable information that we can now work together to get a proper, uh, when you're introducing cannabis into your, into your medicine, medicine uh, program, that their doctor now has something that they can use uh, for getting some information. Okay, so without further ado, I'm actually going to do this test. It's very simple to open. We put tape on it just so we can seal it back up for this segment, but remove the test kit and the instructions are all open up inside here. There's the kit. That's for shipping. That's for shipping. That's, That's the swab. Kit. And here's the instructions. Uh -huh. Very easy. 
Okay, test. I can't eat, drink, smoke, chew gum for 30 minutes before giving my sample. Checked that box. Now, rub along lower gums 10 times in a back and forth motion, avoiding rubbing the teeth. Well, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's childproof, that's for sure, because I can't get it open. Ah, here we go. All right, so imagine we want to maintain some sterility here. Yeah, don't let it hit the table. Okay, so. There. Rub along lower gums back and forth in a back and forth motion. Ten times. I don't know if I... Got that. It's like you've done this before. <laughs> Ten times. There. Good. Ten times each side. Hold the tube upright. Unscrew the cap from the tube. Do not spill the liquid. Oh, they had to say that. That'd be the upright portion of that, yeah. Right. Unscrew the cap. Do not spill the liquid. Turn the cap upside down and insert the sponge into the tube. Close the cap tightly. Oh, boy. See, this is... So simple, even I can follow it. Invert the cap to shake it, up. shake it, baby. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Invert the cap and shake vigorously. Six. Your, your martini making skills are showing here. That's <laughs> fantastic. Seal the sample in the lab guard other, other bag side, provided. Oops. Yeah. And place in the mailbox. Mail to our laboratory. It is that simple, people. You can log on to endocannahealth.com and get your own test to find out which cannabinoids align with your particular DNA. So without further ado, I'm going to send this off in the mail and we'll come back with the results as soon as we get the results. So you want to tune in for that segment. Um, so Clint, that's really cool. So this is kind of like a uh, deployable uh, sort of cannabis consultancy in that people are going to go to these guys and say, send me the results. Here's the cannabis features that are good for you. You can go try these guys, but Heritage just happens to have this cannabis here. And here's a link to their website. Go ahead and buy some. Endocanna right now is doing several different deals, uh, in particular the United States, mm -hmm. who will be representing these kits and mm -hmm. getting them out there. There will be thousands of them coming in, really? which gives fantastic information for companies such as us who are looking at doing formulations very specifically for selling into these uh, into these sectors. Mm -hmm. Now, is it uh, perhaps a little bit insolent to say, why don't you buy the whole thing? Uh, well, it does lead into it, yeah. <laughs> uh, right now, uh, Endocana, they, uh, they've just started their company and they're looking to build it up. We see a lot of potential for them, uh, particularly we call it on bird dogging potential uh, uh, customers for us as we sure. take a look at where we can sell our formulations into. Right now, we're targeting a few of the states in the U.S. We will be working with them. We will be talking about that a little bit later on, but definitely there's, uh, there's serious potential there. Well, that's fantastic. All right, Clint, um, so what else is going on in the, uh, in, in the Heritage Cannabis universe? Uh, you know, just everything, we're pro progressing as a company. Every day we're doing uh, uh, bigger and bigger things, building bigger foundations to be able to grow on. As uh, many companies are seeing, uh, growth is not easy. Mm -hmm. You're trying to take a company that does zero revenue and take it to hundreds of millions of revenue in a couple of years. That's not an easy growth pattern for anybody. And uh, in order to do that without toppling over, without falling or imploding, you need to build that proper foundation and that's what we're doing right now. I know that everyone's sitting around and waiting to see what we're going to do next. I get the text messages or tweets or pretty much any medium that you can communicate on. Right. They're coming. There's going to be a lot of things that people are going to, I hope, will be excited about, just as excited as we are. Okay, great. Clint, we'll leave it there for now. Come back to you soon. Thanks for joining me today. Great. Thanks.